So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. Did you trade sixes for threes? Things are going to work out in your favor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. Throwing is Rodgers. And that'll make this a second and 13. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit. Loosen them up. Have them back on their heels. Here's Rodgers, and Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Vic Beasley coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. And this is incomplete. Robert offered that time on the great coverage. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. 39. Here's Freeman. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Now it's Freeman. And he spins through. And he'll run it right through it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons are in for six. And Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left, really, but right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try and maneuver people a little bit so you have some space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try and move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case to the left, so I can get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by. Here's Bosher to kick it away. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> 
that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Nice right, work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up getting a positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Rodgers going to throw. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. A good pick up there, a 22. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They come out here in the eye. He kept it himself at second down. Oh, yeah, good surge defensively. Sometimes you can just tell by the way a quarterback lines his feet up behind center. He's going to try and sneak it in. And they catch him here and stop him for no gain. with a keeper and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down the Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one so it's third and goal and now the question can this Falcon defense stand tall once more on the sneak Rodgers call it no gain on the keeper and it's going to bring up a fourth down now on fourth and inches they're going to want to talk this over we get a timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Interesting, a chip shot field goal here would give them the lead, but instead, they're going on fourth down. Here we go with Williams. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A great play there as the first half is winding down and the Packers are able to cash in for six. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. kick it away this fielded a few yards into the end zone and the 
decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. up second down. Right, After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second go. and 10. Second down, Freeman. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've come to halftime here.